episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we're the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive One. Yes, and we're are. playing Dr. Decker's Dead. This dude's his nemesis. We're going to tell him to shoot himself. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's, for if you didn't watch the last episode, he said uh, someone offered him a million dollars to play six rounds of Russian roulette with his quantum gambling idea. So we're going to tell him to do it. Yeah, dude, I think you should take the offer. Yeah, let's tell him. It's Be fine. I mean, because if he does it, then it's like, hey, you know, here's here's a million dollars. Here's a couple hundred bucks for helping out. Yeah, a hundred bucks, dude. Yeah, do yeah take the offer. <sighs> Splendid. I can't lose, Doctor. Right, you Let can't. Let me demonstrate Oh, don't kill yourself in my office. What is Dude, he... Why do you bring his crotch Dude. arm out? <laughs> Did he just murder himself in front of us? Oops. Wait, hold on a second. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, he was pissing me off anyway. Wait a second. So like, we're just going to pretend like nothing happened? We gotta continue with our day, dude. You know, the bills don't pay themselves, I, all right? I mean, we didn't get... She's looking at us funny. <laughs> I really didn't think we were gonna kill him. I didn't... I mean, oh. I, I didn't think he was gonna do it right in front of us. I know, right? Okay, all right, all right. Who do we talk to next, man? Who let's, let's go. Let's talk to Jaya, because... Let's see what Mariana's wearing today. All right, I did say we'd look at her outfit today. Okay, she's wearing... Oh, a, she's wearing, like, a tie-dye dress. Yeah, very... She's, she's, she's such a hippie twirling her hand she's doing that like i'm on ecstasy hand motion <laughs> oh my god i can see color yeah i can see the color let's all talk right. to jaya because all right let's see elin always he has like one shirt in her wardrobe we talk yeah. to claire let's talk to jaya i can't believe we killed the professor dude I yeah can't lose, dude. Doctor. and he and like there's nothing else yeah we lost that we lost one we lost a patient today all right it's a sad <laughs> day sad day um how are you today jaya i'm fine I'm ready for my grief counseling. I emailed you Mariana's address. I don't know why you'd want it. I suppose you're going to start doing home visits now, like Dr. Decker? Wait, we didn't ask for her. Why did she send it? Dr. Decker's doing home visits. Hmm. Yeah, why would I want Mariana's address, dude? Why would I want, yeah. Doctor, if you don't want it, don't text me and ask for it. It's all right. I don't mind doing menial tasks for you. Someone has to do them. Oh, wait. Okay. Home, that, home visits? Wait, yeah, that's that because, wait, she didn't... Wait! Did we say we would meet her? She said, why do you want... Why'd you text me to do that if it wasn't... Like, don't you think the response should be, I didn't... Do, like, we didn't... Never mind. Go ahead. Home visits. Maybe we did? <laughs> yes, Dr. Decker started doing home visits for Mariana. He said she couldn't concentrate properly in his oh, office. Oh, yeah, that's I naive. hope you're not thinking home of doing visits. the same thing. Home I need you visits. right where I can see you. Home. Oh, okay, visits. so there was more. Mariana's an habitual liar. Well, she said that they weren't seeing each other, but yeah. she, he was coming to her house to do a visit, and then he would visit her insides. It, it reminds me of the movie where we were watching last night, where the, where she asked the one girl, "Is like, is that your boyfriend?" And she's like, "Oh yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, exactly. But we're not seeing each other. Yeah, sometimes he is. Oh, I love you. Bless your heart." <laughs> I'm gonna say that to the I next have... person who tells me they love me. Like, like my mom's like, "I love you." I'll be like, "Bless your heart." Bless your heart, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I should ask Mary Mariana about Decker's home visit. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. She's she's a liar, dude. I like so obviously. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, she's just oozing sexuality and lying. She's mm -hmm. like a manipulator, dude. Mm -hmm. All right, and we already know about Bryce and Claire. Yeah, okay. yeah. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Uh, are you spying on me? Shall we talk about grief today? Any new any news on Ben? Tell me about the paper spike. Let's ask her yeah. about Decker real quick. Uh, anything else to share about Decker? Why would we think she's spying? Some mornings I come into work and still expect him to be here. I like that outfit she's got. Sometimes on it though. feels like he actually is here, watching over me. We had a connection. It's gone now, though. You can't have a connection with the dead, can you? Not for too long, anyway. It's like, how does she not know that What's-His-Face shot himself in the office today? Well, you know, that happened at the end of the day. It's not chronological order. That's true. What connection? <laughs> what connection? 
Dr. Decker asked me to have dinner with him for Valentine's. I refused, obviously, because you don't sleep where you eat or something like that. But it was flattering, especially with competition like Mariana around. Competition? Oh, wow. I mean, women are a little, you know, naturally. What oh, it's me. <laughs> what did you do on Valentine's? Because I thought she told us that she was home. Anyways, let's see. Yeah, let's find out. Professor. I was at home on my lonesome doctor, like I said before. Okay, she did say that. She was at home. So she did not go to the ministry event with the other guy, but she told him to go. Okay. Um, I want to know this. Yeah, yeah. Because it seems like a lot of women are vying for Dr. Decker's balls. Yeah, dude, maybe he's a Sorry, swinger. I didn't mean I was competing. I was happy Mariana was going out with him. I didn't want to be romantic with him. We oh. had a stronger connection What's than that. What's a stronger that? connection than romantic? I don't know, like a mother-son? I don't know. Look, um, but my whole point is that she basically just said is that she knew something was going on with Mariana and Dr. Decker. Yeah, yeah. And it's very obvious by the fact that they're hanging out, going out on Valentine's Day of all days. Um, he's making home visits to her house. Mariana's lying so hard. She's been lying since day one when she told her she didn't drink. She doesn't smoke. Yeah. She doesn't. The beach isn't making her blackout. She doesn't know what's happening. She, she doesn't know why she blacks out. But she goes yeah. out drinking and then goes to the beach and gets naked. Mm -hmm. And then whenever we ask her something that makes her uncomfortable, she blows us off and tells us that we're not, we're not, we don't know her well enough to know all of her intimate secrets. Yeah. Yeah, dude. What's uh, she, a stronger she's, connection? Yeah. She's number one on my list right now. Yeah, I, I believe so, dude. I mean, she's she was the last one to see Decker. She's number one on the list. What is a stronger connection? Dr. Decker and I shared some philosophy. We both read The Cult of the Kinetic Mind, and we agreed with a lot of what it said. So that made have you, read that you guys book, have Doctor? a stronger connection than... Um, that's actually a really good book. Um, where do I get to say I haven't read it or tell me about... Oh, I guess I gotta say... You can just say you haven't read it. You've yeah. heard of that book before? No. <laughs> Oh, but for the in video, yes. Cult of the Kinetic Mind, the author suggests that everyone is capable of psychokinesis and that the cult leaders specifically had these powers that turned their followers into disciples. It's not a fun read, but if you're into psychology, it's a blast. I'm interested to see what it has to say. Uh, that sounds okay. crazy. Yeah, what is psychokinesis? Okay. That's more of what I was curious about. Oh, there we go. <laughs> What's psychokinesis? Psychokinesis Moving. is the ability to change the physical world without actually touching it just by using your mind. It's not just about bending spoons. Oh, it's it covers all sorts of things thing. like telepathy, telekinesis, telesabalas. Telesabalas? Get out of here. Jack fan. <laughs> She's too young to know what Kojak is. <laughs> Do you believe in Psycho? So did she, sh from her house, stabbed him in the heart with the, the peg? Could be, man. Let's see what she thinks. Yeah, see, this we're, we're learning like about I this said, world. All those cool things are in Cult of the Kinetic Mind, apart from Kojak, obviously. If you ever get a patient who thinks they can change the world with just their mind, then duck, just in case they can. But seriously, do a whole load of shrinking and make them better. Whether you believe in psychokinesis or not, you'll need to figure out your approach with those that do. Didn't somebody say they felt like they could move them? All of these people basically yeah. feel that way. Yeah, all right. Every single one of them thinks they can control the, the outside right, world well, so with their mind. Is it, let's see here. So we should probably Whatever. see, uh, I guess, is it, like, all of these questions are viable right now. I kind of like all of them. We'll, we'll say, is it, is it common? Yeah, we'll stay down the, yeah. The, the no, not at all in my experience. Dr. Decker had an unusual number of patients who claimed psychokinesis. Either he'd been specifically looking for them or someone had been sending them. Hmm. All right, what's next? Why would someone send their psychokine psychokinetic patients here? Or we can find out what approach. What do you want? Either one, dude. I don't care. All right. We'll find it's out. It's entirely possible that someone is targeting this practice with psychokinetic patients. I mean, they all have to weird To what end, crap going I don't on. know. It's no coincidence that most psychokinetic patients are diagnosed as insane, or at least temporarily insane. It's a handy diagnosis if you're facing criminal prosecution. Oh. Especially if it's for murder. 
Nice jab. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, what approach should we take when addressing a person yeah, with psychokinesis? exactly. How do you make people who think they have special powers better? Do you remain passive and support, encourage them, take them away? And that's kind of what we're encountering right now. Well, I can tell you that encouraging a person to shoot themselves in the head, not a good idea. Yeah. Because yeah. they end up dead. I mean. But we're learning. Oh, I didn't know that he was doing it today. Where did he didn't even, we even know he had a gun? No, he was just proving that he could he could win. I mean, sometimes sweet release is winning, I guess. I don't know if he did it. Maybe maybe the gunshot was just signifying is that he went and did the thing that we. And died. And died. But oh, Okay, I see what you mean. Okay. But yeah. it, it does it does definitely look like we, we killed that man. Um, or, I mean, he killed himself. Oh, wow. But, but he was crazy. Okay. Um, Encourage their power, remove their powers, be passive. What do we do here? Uh, let's 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 change paths for a minute, I guess. Okay, I'm cool with that. Let's just ask her if she's spying on us, because she... Are you spying on me? Checks and balances, Doctor. Somebody needs to be watching the Watchman, so to speak. Make sure you're helping, not hindering. She's judging us. I'm not mad at that. We're doctor, new. ooh, there we, that's a good question right there. Was Dr. Decker helping or hindering? He probably did his fair share of helping and hindering. He was definitely helping in the beginning, but then seemed to lose sight of things. Yeah, it sounds like a, a crap job, to be honest. Yeah. How did Dr. Decker lose sight of things? I think he was so overwhelmed by the patients he was getting. His yeah. curiosity just got the better of him. Yeah, he's like, wait, there tell me more about this 25th hour. Turning point. Tell me more about your vagina to that one girl. <laughs> uh, what was the different turning point for Decca? Yeah, let's roll with it. Somewhere around the time Professor Alderby turned up, that seemed to unsettle him. And then we had a flood of extra weird patients. I think it was all too much for him. I think I misjudged him. I hope you deal with it better. Yeah. There was something on that Alderby footage at the very end. About the glass breaking. Yeah, where he was like, uh, I'm going to, something's going to change. And he, came, he did a countdown. And then he got the one. Nothing physical happened, but the camera had like gotten fuzzy and then he was like where's your glass doctor yeah yeah and then i think that was the point where, where dr decker yeah changed all right well we'll uh figure out how she's doing with her grief and what we're gonna do to help or hinder these people on the next one that's all the time we have for today's episode mm. please make sure to like and subscribe if you already did hit that notification bell for jonas tnt uh we uh, are out uh